the planning board uh, on the 21 East Street development uh, had painstakingly, and we withheld a certificate of occupancy uh, for those buildings for a number of months in order to uh, address specific issues about overbanking of the 10 Mile River. Uh, they had to have and provide a plan to, uh, that to the, meet the satisfaction of the planning board to be able to you know, inform and evacuate and provide alternate parking for the residents were there. And they presented a plan that, you know, the, the planning board found acceptable, uh, albeit I will tell you it was driving those cars and providing a, a, a shuttle service to Cumberland, Rhode Island, right, that didn't make it, um, you know, an easy task to do. But it appears, just as you mentioned, that they didn't follow that. But the uh, overbanking of the 10 Mile River um, isn't a new phenomenon. And a matter of fact, uh, in the wintertime, uh, the DPW team, uh, we open up the, uh, uh, the dam uh, and make sure that the floodgates are open so it's not overbanking because we're blocking the water down into Attleboro. It, it, in, in the fall, in the winter, it's opened up fully and lets everything flow through. So uh, another thing to point out is, you know, much of the 10 Mile River is privately owned. You know, the town, you know, let's say it's actually 10 miles long, right? Well, it goes through a number of different communities. It goes from Plainville all the way down through uh, North Attleboro into Attleboro. And the majority of it is held in privately owned property owners' uh, possession. So, uh, but the town has been working very diligently with the 10 Mile River. I mean, we, under when uh, Council President LaPointe was the town council president, and this came up. Uh, and Justin Parry was the council vice president at that point. These are the discussions that we had about making the 10 Mile River a priority for the town, and we did. And we went out and sought funding from the federal government uh, to provide us, you know, relief in this established flood zone and designated by FEMA as a flood zone. Um, we're very fortunate that we did receive not 1.5 but two tranches of $1.5 million for a total of three from our congressman, um, Congressman Auchincloss, to support this. Now, he's backed water uh, as one of his primary policy objectives, and we were very fortunate to get his support for this, not once, but twice. Um, we've been working with FEMA and design and engineering to look at and examine the problem and coming up with solutions on how to spend uh, and where we need to make repairs. But it's not a single community uh, issue. It's multiple communities. We have a portion of that. Um, it's also going to take some, you know, uh, proper help and, you know, access from the residents that abut the, the 10 Mile River. So the town did a lot of work and is still doing a lot of work on uh, the 10 Mile River. Uh, and if you get an unexpected two-inch rainstorm, it's going to overbank. 